In the previous video, I showed you the basic electrical circuit and how you connect it from the power supply through the switch to the load and then back to the other side of the power supply. But this little motor that comes in this kit is, is really quite cool. And I wanna show you a little bit about how that works. To start with, let's just energize it up. I'm just gonna eliminate the switch altogether and just connect one half of the power supply to each side here so that you can see it really easily. So you can see it's, this thing's really spinning just on a single AA 1.5 volt battery. And if I change the polarity on it, it'll spin in the opposite direction. got two permanent magnets here on the outside. So this functions, you know, in, in a typical AC motor, we would call this the stator and we would call the inside part the rotor. But of course, this is a DC motor. And you can see here that they're opposite polarity because you can see they stick together. So one half is negative and the other half is positive. And then the connection points are made on this underside and they go up through and connect to these two little metal rods here, these little metal plates, and those function like brushes. In fact, they, you know, they really are brushes, even though they, they aren't made like typical brushes. And how they connect in is they actually rub on this shaft. And you can see this shaft has three splits in it. So one, two, three. And at any given time, there's a potential difference across two of them at a time. And you can see how these are wound around these windings to connect to two different ones at a time as well. So that way there's this constant attraction and then push, attraction and push to these permanent magnets that we've got. And so they're constantly interacting with these permanent magnets as it spins around. So as it comes through, it'll push away and then it'll pull and then it'll push away and pull, push away and pull on both sides. And so really, if we think of this like an alternating current motor, in this case, it's, it's not alternating current because the current going into it is direct current, but it's sort of still doing the same thing by constantly connecting and disconnecting the electricity that connects to this electrical winding. And so as these electrical windings energize and de-energize, they're attracting and repelling against these permanent magnets. And that's why they would call this a permanent magnet DC motor. Now this has the permanent magnets on the outside and you can actually have you know, permanent magnet rotors. There's different types of, of motors that exist, but in this case, the permanent magnets are on the exterior. But how it functions is just really cool. And the speed of the motor is dictated by the voltage. I've actually run this little motor with a nine volt battery and that thing, it, it looks like it's about to spin apart. Uh, but it just shows you how, how truly simple these little motors are. And of course, on a regular DC motor, it's these brushes that would tend to wear out because it has to have this constant friction. So again, we use different terms for DC and AC motors in a lot of cases, but you know, on an AC motor, we would call the outside the stator and the inside we would call the rotor. And you know, we have some permanent magnet rotors. In this case, we have permanent magnet stator or what we would call stator magnets. Um, often they can be called field magnets. In some cases, there's, there's what's called a series wound motor a DC motor that has uh, field windings, which means that it actually has electromagnets on both the outside and the inside. But in this case, we've got these permanent magnets on the outside and we would call these you know, stator magnets or field magnets. And then on the inside, we've got our armature, which is the part that, that turns right here. And then we have the windings that wrap around the armature. And then this part right here where the brushes, what we would traditionally call brushes connect, that's what we call the commutator of the motor. But the main thing to know is, is that it's just, it's just such a simple design that's using an interaction between electromagnetic field that's generated in these coils here that's connected through these brushes and these, this split in the commutator. As you see this thing rotate around, you see these little splits here. But really, if you think about it, it's so similar to a three-phase motor. We've got three separate windings that are interacting with stationary magnetic fields and causing it to spin as they go from positive to negative and negative to positive. Really quite simple, really elegant, and I, I think it's a pretty cool design. And again, it all relies on a power source that creates that or that provides that potential difference and then a switch that controls it on and off. So there you go. That is a basic DC electric motor. Mm -hmm.